What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dan Senpai here. Time for another review. Another one day's episode 8 or 9. I think it's 9. But, yeah. Like, this episode, I was surprised. Because, you know, I thought that, like, Koto would, you know, leave. Like, you know, like someone would discover with a, a finger's body. Not just him, you know, outside walking and getting caught. But in the end, yeah, he did between uh, he did he uh, he did betray Neto and them, so he has to die. That's the mafia way. He has to die, and it's sad because this is what happened in the first place. If fucking Angelo wouldn't have fucked up, like if he wouldn't have got too possessed in his hate and revenge for Neto and his family, it wouldn't ever happen. It, it, you know what I mean? uh, it, it would never happen. But best boy Fongo is dead. I'm saddened by that truth. I'm gonna miss him in his fucking big nose, big dick. <laughs> but, dude, my God, man, that's. And you can see that he, you know, even though they, they gave him with a cold shoulder last episode, he still cares about Shadow Toe. He still cares. Which is obviously, you know, he's like, like he may be. A, but will up, will absorb and by his hatred, but he still has, you know, at least some humanity left. And the fact that, like, you know, he was trying, you know, like he was ordered to kill Neto by tonight, or he will die. And the plot, it is keeps thickening. It's going into like this mafia kind of thing, but over that, like it's going into like some other. Direction, and I can't even predict what's going to happen. I just can't predict what the fuck's going to happen, man. Will Angelo kill Neto? Will Angelo? Well, uh, Sen, fucking, I forgot the fucking goddamn name. So, black guy. I'm going to call him black guy. Would Soto, so, fuck it. Black guy, will he die? Because, like... He's gotten two death like already, one from Neto and the family, and another one from the guy who kidnapped him. But I like how they're, you know, the, with, with progressing with Neto's character and having him, how to, having him become the Dawn, the mafia boss of that family. And, and from what I say, he earned that. Like, he fucking earned that. Like, he had to kill... A lot of people, as he claims, and, and, and as far as we see from episode 2 and onward, like, he has struggled. Like, him and Angelo has, has struggled through the entire series. It, it, it's, it's not for him to, you know, have, probably have some recognition, and probably have some triumphant thing before fucking Angelo comes crushing them down to the fucking ground. But I like I like where this is going. Like I really like where the fuck this story and this fucking anime is going. Like I have high hope for this anime. I am satisfied. I I'm satisfied. Except for that fucking recap episode I didn't watch. But yeah, I saw the point. That fucking indie man, Lasagna. I'm calling I'm calling him Lasagna. <laughs> Lazuro, or Lazuro, what the fuck do you call it, motherfucker? Lasagna. Now, lasagna, that's, that just sounds fucking disrespectful, but yeah. Like, I look at her tightening in. Right, the guy who sent the letter connect. Let's hold it all. Finally got the name right. Kenneth Sonoto, and they're trying to get Bruno. To kill Neto. He's been, uh, he's been playing Neto, Toto, and Bruno at the exact same time. Now, I don't know what this guy's attentions are beyond that, but it's not good. Like, this for, for real, it, it, it's not really good. And I fucking, I, I hate these fucking tough fingers, man. I, I, I fucking hate them. I hate them. I hate them with all my fucking heart. Anyways... Good, good episode. Uh, 91 days. 
as almost as always. So yeah, if you're a fan of the series, please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me your thoughts below. Other stuff is down below. I would love to hear them. And yeah, have a good day. Have a good day. I'm not gonna forget to live. Bye.